Wondering how to use glowstone dust in Minecraft? This video is going to explain where to find it, crafting recipes, and potions involving glowstone dust. Let's first talk about where to find glowstone dust. Glowstone dust naturally occurs in the nether. It generates in clusters on the ceiling or overhangs. If glowstone is broken with any tool, it will drop glowstone dust. However, if you have any tool with the silk touch enchantment, it will drop the glowstone block. The silk touch enchantment can be put on axes, pickaxes, and shovels. What it does is it drops the block itself instead of breaking the block. Normally when you break glowstone, it can drop between 2-4 to four pieces of glowstone dust. If the tool has the fortune enchantment on it, the amount of drops of glowstone dust increases. The maximum level of fortune is 3. It is incompatible with the Silk Touch enchantment, meaning you either have to have Silk Touch or Fortune. At level 3 Fortune, you can only get 2-4 to four Glowstone Dust, but there is a 75% chance it will be 4 pieces of Glowstone Dust. Also, one of the new additions in the 1.16 update, Piglins, gives Glowstone Dust. With Piglins, you have to wear a piece of gold armor, otherwise they will become hostile. To get Piglins to barter, hold a gold ingot in your hand. Either drop it close to the Piglin, or right click on the Piglin. The Piglin will take the gold ingot and give you an item in exchange. There is a 4.72% chance of giving 5-12 to 12 pieces of glowstone dust. Also, when killing witches, they can drop between 0-6 to 6 glowstone dust. The looting enchantment, which is the sword enchantment, can increase the amount of drops when killing a mob. The maximum level of looting is 3. With witches, looting increases the potential glowstone by 3 per a level of looting. At level 3, you could get between 0 to 15 glowstone dust. What glowstone dust can be used for is in a couple different crafting recipes. The first one is you can add it to the recipe of the firework star. So the firework stars when added to firework rockets can add shape effects, additional effects, and color. Adding glowstone dust will give the firework star a twinkle effect. The crafting recipe for a firework star is a piece of gunpowder, the dye of your choice. You can add items to get the shape effect and add glowstone dust for the twinkle effect. After this, craft it into a firework rocket in the crafting table with the firework star, gunpowder, and paper. If you want more information on the firework star, I will have a card on the top right. In the Java edition, there is a crafting recipe of 4 glowstone dust and an arrow will craft you 2 spectral arrows. These arrows, when used, will cause the target to have a glowing effect for 10 seconds. This creates an outline that can be seen through blocks. The last crafting recipe is 4 glowstone dust can be crafted into a glowstone block. Seeing this recipe, you can see that when you break glowstone and it drops glowstone dust, you might not get enough glowstone dust to be able to craft it back into glowstone. The glowstone has a light level of 15, which is the highest in the game. It can be crafted into a redstone lamp and a new item in the 1.16 update, the respawn anchor. Glowstone dust can be used in brewing different potions. If you are unfamiliar with the brewing stand and how to brew potions, I will have a card on the top right which will have a brewing guide for you. The basics of a brewing stand is the left slot is the fuel, the only fuel you can use is blaze powder, the bottom three slots are where you place the water bottles or potions, and the top slot is the item you want to distill into the water bottles or potions. The first potion is distilling glowstone dust into a water bottle creates the mundane potion, unfortunately this potion is useless. Glowstone dust can be used on potions to increase the potency and can reduce the duration. To simplify potions a bit, an awkward potion is nether warts distilled into a water bottle. This potion you can distill items into to get different effects. So distilling sugar into an awkward potion creates the potion of swiftness. You can distill glowstone dust into this to get the potion of swiftness too. So what this potion does is increase your movement speed by 40% for 1 minute and 30 seconds. The potion of slowness can be crafted by distilling sugar or rabbit's foot into an awkward potion, then distilling fermented spider eye, which corrupts the potion giving the opposite effect. After distilling glowstone dust, this gives the potion of slowness 4, which decreases the movement speed by 60% for 20 seconds. The potion of leaping 2 is created by distilling rabbit's foot into the awkward potion, then distilling glowstone dust into it. This increases your jumping by 1 and 1 fourth for 1 minute and 30 seconds. The potion of strength 2 is created by distilling blaze powder into an awkward potion, then distilling glowstone dust into it. This gives you an increase of 6 melee damage for 1 minute and 30 seconds. 
The potion of healing 2 is created by distilling glistering melon slice into an awkward potion, then distilling glowstone dust into it, and this gives you 8 instant health. If you corrupt the potion of healing 2 with fermented spider eye, you get the potion of harming 2, which decreases your health by 12 instantly. The next one is the potion of poison 2 is spider eye distilled into an awkward potion, then glowstone dust distilled giving the effects of poison which reduces your health by 1 every 1.2 seconds for 21 seconds. The potion of regeneration which is gas tears distilled into an awkward potion, then glowstone dust distilled increases your health by 1 every 1.2 seconds for 22 seconds. The last one is the potion of the turtle master 2 distilled into an awkward potion and then glowstone dust distilled into this. This gives slowness 6 and resistance 4 for 20 seconds. As you can see glowstone dust is very useful when it comes to potions to increase the effects. There is a total of 9 different potions you can distill glowstone dust into to increase the potency.